My name is Emily Steib and I'm here at Twin Hickory Elementary School in a fifth grade classroom. Today you're going to be seeing a lesson about mean, median, mode, and range and getting these kids up and moving. Alrighty kiddos, um, today we are finally starting day one of math review to get you guys ready for that SOL coming up here shortly. Um, lately we've been doing a lot of talking about team building and this is the time of year you really need to focus on your strengths and your weaknesses. How can I become a better student at this point of the year getting you ready for middle school? Um, so today we're gonna do something I really think you guys are gonna enjoy. It is a team building activity to focus on collecting data, analyzing data, and figuring out those points of variance and center, okay? Um, so if you guys would open up your ISNs for me, your subtitle for today is going to be for pages 115 and 116. And I've already created my ISN page, which is up on the board. Subtitle is M, 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 and R. What do you guys think that stands for? Mean, median, mode, and range. So since we've already learned this topic once this year, this is going to be a quick review for your wrap. And we know wrap is review and preview. So this is obviously going to be more on the review side because we've done this before. Mean, median, mode, and range. For those of you in the back, just in case you can't see, your wrap is write a synonym for each word below. What is a synonym? Who can raise their hand and tell me what is a synonym? What is a synonym? Nathan. It's um, a word that means the same thing with another, kind of like, um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's a word that means the same, right? Synonym are words that are equally the same as far as definitions go. So when I give you the word mean, mode, median, and range, for your wrap, I want you to come up with a synonym for each of those words, okay? Come up with a synonym for each of those words. When you think you have a synonym that you would like to share, please stand behind your chair. When you have a synonym that you think you would like to share, stand behind your chair. I'm a poet, I'm rhyming. Got a few of you standing. Right, let's do this. My friends that are standing, I would like for you to lead a discussion with your group, talking about the synonyms that you have come up with. As your teammates begin to feel comfortable in coming up with other synonyms, they may begin to stand. So hopefully, in the next minute or so, we can all be standing by the time the end of this discussion, okay? So we start leading those conversations. Let's give this a minute. You may begin. The fair share. Yeah. The yeah. mode would be the most. Yes. That's yeah. right. Um, the median, I got center. Yeah. Center. Yeah. Center. Oh, the, good. And the range would be the variation. Yeah. That's right. Most for mode, middle for median, and finding the difference range. Oh. Wait, what did you put for mode most, right? Yeah. Most. I'm hearing a lot of conversation about range being the difference and the mode being the most and the mean being the average. That is such a jackpot word. I love hearing that. The mean is the average. Seeing these bodies standing or letting me know that we feel com confident and comfortable with this material. Do you guys agree? Okay, do you feel ready to begin our challenge? Okay, just split your page into fourths. Within this challenge, 
we are going to have four rounds, okay? So you are cutting this page into fourths because each little window panel is gonna be used to show your work. Are you guys curious to know what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I thought so. All right, today, you guys need me a little drum roll. We are completing a cup stacking challenge, okay? Um, why and how do you think a cup stacking challenge could help you with data? Where do you think the data piece is gonna come into this lesson? If I'm stacking cups with a group, where's the data piece? How can we put mean, median, mode, and range into a lesson like this? What do you think? Deep Dev, what do you think? That's awesome. Deep is kind of recognizing patterns here. She's thinking if I have a layer of five, four, three, two, one, that's definitely numerical data. I'm trying to think of something else. What else could we think of for me, medium, mode, and range? Wooji, what do you think? I was thinking for me, like we could, we could all try to like stack the cups as fast as we could. Then we could like see, uh, we could time each person's and add them all together and divide them by three. I love it. It's almost like he wrote the lesson. I love it. That's pretty much what we are going to do, bud. So I'm going to put you guys in groups in just a second. When you get with your group, I'm going to give you guys five minutes for a couple of tasks to be completed. You are going to, one, come up with the team captain. Okay, in this classroom, how do we figure out our team captains? What are a couple things we have to think about when we are delegating who is going to be a team captain? Maya. Wait, uh, we can see what Okay, yeah, we're kind of gonna pick someone who maybe enjoys writing down our information. Someone who's a good leader. Uh, Brianna, what would you like to add? Um, we all have to vote for them. Like, like, let's say four people, like, the most, like, three people, like, the four, that person would win and you can't vote for anyone. Very good, we wanna vote, we wanna make it fair. We want our team to feel like we're being represented in a fair way. Taft, you wanna add? Right, you need to give a reason why if I want to be team captain, how can I tell my team that I will do a good job at being team captain? Okay, Olivia, what do you want to add? It might help if they have experience. Oh, I love that. She's throwing in maybe some personal experiences, why I would be a good team captain. Okay, so that is step one. Figure out who is going to be team captain of your team. You will also figure out a team name, okay? A team name within these five minutes. Your last task within these five minutes, you're going to have some practice rounds. Which is being team captain, and so I feel like I would be a good why do you, Why do you think you're a good leader? Because I'm very responsible and I'm good at writing. And yeah. Because I want to be team captain. That's it. Okay, okay. why do you want to be team captain? Because I feel like I can write down the data in like correctly, and I can lead the team properly, and I have experience because I've been the team leader. Sorry. Okay, you have to write your name there. I know. Um, what do you guys want to be? Here, how about you create the name since he was the captain? A small bottom because then you can write the Four more minutes. Four more minutes. Instead of making a wider one, you have to like Oh, true, 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 true. There are 30, so let's make 10 rows of three. No, three rows of 10. That's great. Okay. So our challenge begins. Do you guys have a team name? We're still deciding. <laughs> you want to spend too much time on the team name. You want to have time to practice. Cup stackers. So this is kind of going to be like your group comes together and agrees on an answer. This is what you'll write on the board. This is like what is the final mean, median, mode, and range. So wait, 
is it all of them together or is it just yeah so right here so let's say let's pick a number let's say you use all 30 cups for round one in the first round use all 30 cups so here you're going to write down the class's data so your group was 30 let's say Wooji's group had 15 cups and Andrew's group had 10. So we're writing down their groups yes. too. Yes, so class and data. And we're making the mean yes. of that. There you go. And then the mode and then the mode. Good job. Yep. All work together. You want one mode. I need an extra cup. Just only one tower. Yeah. I'm seeing lots of cool strategies, and I think we're ready to begin. Go ahead and do me a favor. Your practice round is done. So let's take all of your cups and make one stack of 30 for me, OK? On your marks. Get set. Snow. No. Just Sorry. kidding. Go. Twenty more seconds. Nice guys. Nice work. All righty. Three, two, one. Power of one. All right. Head back to your notebooks. So now that you are back in your notebooks, here is the deal. Your team captains will come up to the board and write the number of how many cups you used, okay? Round one was pretty easy. I'm thinking we used all 30 cups for most of you, okay? So once you have figured that out, team captains, come on up. Please be careful of the towers in the front of the classroom. And you may write down your group's data. So as our team captains are writing, my friends, your goal is in your notebooks to solve. So we should have, if we have five groups, we will have five data points on the board, okay? You will figure out the mean, median, mode, and range in your notebooks using this class data. Again, round one's a little easy. We, for the most part, we use 30 cups. Okay, so you may begin solving, and I will come around with calculators. For this is an SOL where you are allowed to use a calculator. Okay, so you guys may begin solving. All righty, guys. So for round one, looking at these data points, we have our five groups, so we have our five sets of data. I'm seeing 30, 30, 30, 30, and 27, which is awesome. We had a minute for round one. Can I have a team captain let me know what did they figure out for the mean for this set of data? What is the mean for round one? Hazel, for your group, what did you figure out, babe? What's the mean? 29.4. 29.4. Do we agree? Yes. Do we have an agreeance? Yes. That's awesome. Okay, so for the mean, Hazel, how did you figure that out? Beautiful. She says I added them all up. I divided by five because there's five sets of data. Awesome. For the mode, this one's really standing out to me. What was the mode for this set of data points? What was the mode? Justin, what'd you get, bud? Um, 30. 30, and how did you know that was the mode, bud? What is the mode? It's the number the we number see. That the, most. the number that appears the most. I'm seeing 30 is a definite mode. Do you guys agree? Yeah. yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. Awesome. I love it. All right, guys, what about the median? We're looking for that middle. What is the median of this data? Remember, this median can be tricky. You have to put them in order from least to greatest. And that's something we learned earlier this year. Carter, what do we get for the median? We got 30. I agree with you. Thumbs up if you also agree. And I saw a lot of you doing this in your notebooks. And lastly, we have the range. Who can tell me what was the range of this data? Charlotte. She has three. And how do you figure that number out, sweetie? Awesome. She subtracted 30 and 27 to get the difference, right? That's the range is the variation. Very good, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today at Twin Hickory. We um, had a wonderful time today learning about mean, median, mode, and range. Go, Go